bitch. We're back. Yes, my mic is working right now. Huh, I went back to look at the, uh... Well, first of all, welcome back, everyone. Um... Another episode of FF7 Rebirth, but we gotta spend a few minutes recapping... The shit that got lost... In the, um, The last video, because my microphone literally... Did not die. Streamlabs killed the feed from it for no reason. Midstream. I went back to look at the VOD, and it happened right after I used the bench before the fight with Roche. I'm literally just talking, and then I pause- I stop talking for like a few seconds to use the bench and all that, and then as soon as I walk away from the bench and go into the, the boss arena where Roche is, I just see myself going- <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what the- I'm like, Streamlabs, why you do this to me, man? Like- <laughs> All right, let's open it up. Yeah, I'll meet the, uh... Meet the console for now. I, I, I'm i happier that at least that didn't get cut. Like, if Streamlabs OBS wants to just spontaneously cut the feed on my mic for no fucking reason, fine. But at least the game audio is preserved. Like, it sucks either way, but I'm glad the game audio was not muted for no reason. At least, you know. I am happy about that. Huh, so I think... Let's see, I've started... It should be this one. Wait, what? 17 minutes until... Oh, no, that's something else. Uh, the Two hours and 14 minutes. Yeah, the last segment was over two hours without taking a break just because shit started going down in Junon and I was like, holy shit. Um, that was pretty crazy. Okay, so I muted the game. Yes. Let's switch over here. I'm just gonna- thank god it wasn't too much, it's only like 20 minutes, so I can skim through it and give a very brief summary. On, um... I can give a, a brief summary on what was- what I said that wasn't caught on the mic because of Streamlabs censoring me. Let's see, properties for screen capture, capture movies and TV, of course it doesn't work, so I have to go to screen 1 instead. There it is. I- I don't know why it doesn't work. Um... Okay, so here it is. Let me... I can leave that on 80. Yeah, it, I mean, it, I don't have to, like... Yeah, that's fine. The volume is fine. Bullshit. bullshit is right. Let me move my... My webcam. That part's not bullshit, but... Or, uh... Alright, let's go get our troops. For now, just to... To differentiate between present me and past me, okay? This is the present me. That dude, that dude over there is a past me from yesterday. So check this out, man. Let me mute my TV. Holy shit. Title screen should be getting loud. Alright. So. The microphone goes mute. Fucking up my infantry. Again, it's, it wasn't the micro. There it is. Um, It wasn't the microphone. It was Streamlabs OBS that just cut the feet on it. Right here. Perfectly good potions. Okay, see, I just said a waste of perfectly good potions. That's still there. It's right there. And then right after this, it happens to cut out when I'm not talking. So the next time you see me talk, it's just muted. Just Look at this me. shit, man. It's ridiculous. Watch. Waste of perfectly good potions. I think they're cheap. Okay, when does it happen? I gotta watch my lips. Might as well make another save. Okay, still good. There it is, look! Muted! I'm talking, look! I'm just... Fucking talking and ain't nothing going through, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sucks man all right so i'll give you guys a brief summary on what my thoughts were of this because you guys can't fucking hear me um this happened for 20 minutes so i'll skip i'll just skip through and then i'll be like oh yeah here's i was thinking this and that the key points you know so roche i'm gonna mute the video too just so i can comment properly we you know if you want to hear the audio of what happened in the game just watch the previous one you can see the subtitles though. Um, so yeah, Roche is like, you know, 
says all this and I, I kind of what I was like whatever I was like all right yeah this, this guy's gimmicky like gim not gimmicky he's eccentric right um I don't know what he meant by this my quarry is cast you aside but this is whatever didn't really say much of you know it was just whatever just waiting for the fight to start standard you know just fought him did whatever just commented on again not much now, there was something I did say that I want to... Now that I know that it wasn't heard. So, yeah, the fight was just whatever. Where I, where I commented was obviously this. Him splitting the bike in half. Oh my god. I like the jazzy music. <laughs> I forgot the tire doing that. At least my soundboard went through. My soundboard didn't get muted either. I swear, you get better, stronger, and faster. Yeah, this is whatever. My comment came in around. Well, here I was kind of like, oh, okay, he just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to kill us. He just likes to fight or whatever. Like this was kind of like, oh, hey, cool, whatever. Where is it? I walk up to the bike. Oh, I, I almost forgot about this. That's a good catch. It's I commented on the fact that he gave us a speed demon keychain, but also, more importantly, I was like, we got a stuffed stamp. A stamp from our timeline, that is. Also, is that a typo? I saw this yesterday. Didn't comment on it, but, like, it says, Exo Exeunt. Is that a horrific typo on the, the part of the localization team who wrote the subtitles? Your elevator will take you down. And do your shit. Run along now. Shouldn't keep your comrades waiting. Didn't say much Don't of anything here. On me. I demand another dance. Don't so, go dying on me. I when do I walk up to the broken bike? I know I said something there. So right here. What did I say? I said something about... I think I was just making a joke, like, saying, like, I'm sorry about your bike or whatever, like... Hope you can get it fixed! Or get a new one. But here, if you listen to the music... I'll raise it up a little bit for this. The music here reminds me... I don't say this until, like, I'm over there in the back, but I can, I'm just gonna say it now. Um, the music here reminds me a bit of the music that plays when you're escaping Galbadia Prison towards the end of that segment in Final Fantasy VIII. It's kind of nice. Like, I know that wasn't on purpose or anything, but I just... Recognizing a similar sound to it was kind of a nice accidental and unintended nostalgia for me. Okay, let's skip ahead. Now, the thing I really wanted to, to recap was saying goodbye to our troops. You can see it on my past self's face here, during this scene. Um... Ask is, I guess with the okay, here we go. He's... A jackass. <laughs> Let me know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, <laughs> why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Or are you the assassin everyone's looking for? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. See, at this point, I was like, oh no. Like, he's gonna have to kill him, really? Like, he's gonna. Like, I got a little sad. You can see it on my face. Like, I got a little <laughs> choked up here. You joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman, just lightening the mood. And this moment, the realization hit me that they know Cloud is, you know, whether he is or isn't the assassin, they know he's not one of them. But they don't care. And this is the part that really endeared me to them, and it actually made me choke up a lot more. But this, we get it. Th this little speech you here. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir! It's okay. At ease. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. 
This is a beautiful I moment. I might for saying this since we only just met, but the seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. See, when he said the the seventh feels more like a family mount now than ever, more than ever, I was choking up here, man. Like, I didn't get teary-eyed, but it was close. Like, I actually got a knot in my throat. I was like, oh my god, I actually brought these guys together quite well. And I enjoyed fighting alongside them. Like, I try, I treated... You saw how I fought yesterday. I mean, even though I was muted for from the Roche segment and beyond. Like, I actually wanted to take care of them. I didn't want any of them to die. I used potions on them and everything. Um, they were my bros, man. They were, they were the homies. Like, <laughs> these troopers. Like, I valued these troopers. So this was a good payoff, this cutscene. Um, cause it's, it's just, they're just basically showing you how much they appreciate what you did for them. Even if, you know, they've kind of realized that you're not one of them. They still really appreciate the way you brought them together and you delivered them to gl unto glory, basically. You made them, uh, have a glorious moment together that they'll, that they'll cherish forever. You know, with the Junon parade and everything. So yeah, like, my face is a little red, I can see it. There, see, that's what I'm talking about, how I choked up, because I'm doing this. <laughs> we see each other again, sir? <laughs> Count on it. Dylan! You son of a bitch. Self-explanatory, right? The way they see you off like this is so nice. They just sit there saluting until you leave. It made me feel it felt good man it was i was like i think at this point i said they were like they're like my brothers in arms i believe is what i said at this point i felt the sense of camaraderie with them that was really cool and then yes yeah, so i remember what i said here too was uh hopefully next time that we do see each other we won't have to be on opposite sides of things yeah and that was pretty much the biggest thing Thank thankfully the mic was not muted too long because I, I don't have to like do too much recapping yeah, after this, I pretty much... I think I... Oh, I remember what I said after this is more just speculation at this point. As I ran around the port looking for treasures and shit before we got on the boat. Which, before we get on the boat, I realized my mic is not working anymore and I unmute it. So, you know, we don't even have to go that far in. Um, and I might have already said this yesterday when I was signing off. But I was just speculating here at this point that... That there might... There might be a lot of tension between our group and Yuffie now in the future because she fucked up our potential, at least maybe temporary, peace treaty with Shinra. Like we were really close to having Rufus just get off our backs and not try to hunt us down anymore. Um, in exchange for him asking us to do what we were already going to do anyway, which was hunt down Sephiroth, right? Because Rufus says he's got bigger fish to fry, he's got other things on his mind that- or other things he has to get to, basically, that, are, that he feels are more important to him. So I'm guessing he's alluding to his dealings with that guy in the black robe. I forgot his name, I gotta go back to look at the VOD again. Um, I already forgot his name, the blonde-haired guy with the robe, the black robe. Um, clearly another- a secondary sinister villain who's gonna have a- probably a big- a big role in the story. Um... You know, him wanting Rufus to, like, reinitiate the war with Wutai and all that. For whatever his reasons are. But yeah, I'm getting off track. What I was saying is that th there might be some tension between... Um... Our group and Yuffie because she messed that up for us. Because now Rufus thinks we're trying to kill him and he's probably going to keep coming after us now. Um... And I said that... Maybe Barrett will feel conflicted at the fact that he's... He kind of low-key stopped Yuffie from killing Rufus because he didn't stop her but him yelling like that I think alerted Heidegger early I'm that he was able to save him is okay. so I thought maybe maybe Rufus will or maybe Barrett will feel a little conflicted about that and be like maybe I should have just let her you know but at the same time I also followed this up with saying it's around this point too see how I'm talking um <laughs> I followed up by saying that maybe he'll be like no but I did the right thing because he knew that if uh, an assassination attempt happened with us so close to him, we were going to be in trouble. Which is exactly what happened, right? We were, um... We could have just been killed or arrested on the spot because of what Yuffie did. I was like, so I doubt Barrett will regret it that much. And then, surprise, surprise. Yeah, he was kind of like... It's probably... He says it right here, right? Like, he says it's probably for the best. 
Uh, he doesn't say it in this cutscene. He says it after as you're walking towards the boat, I think. I think something like that. He says it's probably for the best that... That the misunderstanding with Rufus happened because, you know, dealing with Shinra is like making a deal with the devil. So it's... Yeah. Like we couldn't have right. trusted them to right. actually keep their word and not come after us. Let's not anyway. Friends waiting. We better I think he says it right here. I vaguely remember him saying right. it because of the fact that I, I was realizing when he said it that my mic was not working and I got more distracted Next. by that. They're screening passengers. <clears throat> now? Which again, my mic didn't actually door. stop working. It's just Streamlabs cut the feed on it for no reason. I'm constantly going to be looking over there now. All paranoid to see if the volume bar is still fucking moving. All I had to do was to fix it was literally go to properties and change the device, the input device from the microphone to something else and then change it back to the microphone and then it started working again. Like it, it literally, Streamlabs OBS literally just cut it out for no fucking reason. It just stopped accepting the input and then re-accepted it when I re- when I reconfigured it, like when I changed the device to something else and then back to the mic. It was a really dumb tech issue, honestly. <laughs> I like how these robed guys, <laughs> no one gives a fuck. No one bats an eye about them. They don't, they look hella shady. Like these dudes are hella shady and nobody says a damn thing about them just getting on board. And they even have like their little passports and stuff to get on the boat. Like what the fuck? I think this is where uh, Barrett says something, right? Can I help you? Yeah, we're uh... This is the moment I realized. We are the winners of the president's commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The nice improv, Aerith. Said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. Okay, so this is where I realized the mic's muted. Lost, but is it videos? Okay, I'm, gonna yeah, I'm just kind of rambling about why Streamlabs screwed me over like that. Find your space and I said it before. Well, I said it in that moment. The previous times that that's happened, it's the mic that actually stopped working or, or I forgot to turn it on or something. This time it was literally just Streamlabs. First yes. time hearing of this. Well, the president's a busy man. Those guys with you too? <laughs> oh shit. Jeez. Sorry, but you're needed on deck. Fight's broken out. Oh, we just got lucky. <sighs> Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? The hell what does that mean? P's and Q's? You, back to work. Mind your P's and Q's. I said. Oh, and your dog stays in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where does Barrett say the line? I guess it's when we're already on the boat. Also, the pacing was like, holy shit. I might have been muted when I last say this, but when I last said this, when we were leaving our troops behind, but... Oh, it's this guy. At this point now, I'm just I'm recapping Andrea what happened yesterday and, uh, for myself. <laughs> Can't believe I remember their names. Who is this, though? Who's this? Pink-haired chick. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I can't remember I remembered her name, too. Madam M. Very different indeed. Though perhaps a little sharp for my taste. I wonder where they're going. <sighs> I love the theme song. Red's off snooping. Costa del Sol! La Costa del Sol! <laughs> he didn't even put up a fight this time. He just let it happen. He, he you know, submitted to his fate this time instead of resisting it. Okay, is this what? Okay, this was something else. It's not even about the muted mic anymore. It's fixed at this point. Who the hell is Faz? <laughs> is this just... Are these just off-screen characters? Well, see, I mean, why is... Tifa... 
Tifa didn't meet Aerith until we were in the, the, the picture, right? Who the hell is Vaz? Like, this is Tifa and Aerith talking to each other. Um... Who the hell is Faz? Did I miss something? Like, <laughs> who? Is this some other random NPC I didn't pay attention to, at, like, in Remake, or at the end of Remake, or, or near the end, or sorry, or in the beginning of Rebirth and Calm or something? Like, what's going on? No, but there are times when I think I do, and I freeze up till I realize it's someone else. This is just like when we overheard Red 13 and, and Aerith talking in the hotel room about the whispers and feeling like they're something was being sucked out of their minds this is very uh like who is faz and why is he important Aerith says no but there are times when i think i do after what did tifa say ever see that faz guy again yeah i don't know who they're talking about tifa and Aerith didn't know each other until we were already in the picture so it's not like they're ta they're not talking about something that happened before the events of remake started because they didn't know each other back then. This is something that happened after both of them became part of our party at the same time. And got to know each other. I don't remember us ever meeting a guy named Faz. It seems to be someone only they know about. Again, unless I'm just forgetting. Maybe, maybe there was some guy we ran into named Faz that I don't remember. Because I probably didn't think he was important. Did you ever see that Faz guy again? No, but there are times when I think I do, and I freeze up till I realize it's someone else. So she sees, she thinks she sees this Faz fellow, and like, and then it turns out to be some other random NPC, basically, and she's like, oh, it's not him. Freeze up till I realize it's someone else. I feel like this is gonna be very plot relevant later. Why else would they be talking about it? I'm here if you want to talk. They're being very mysterious and secretive with the story, man. It's crazy. It, it's got me... It keeps me uh, on my toes. Like, wait, what are they talking about? What's going on? Like, obviously by intention. It's, it's, I think it's pretty cool what they're doing with the story. They're keeping us guessing about things like this. I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, they, what kind of business? Business as in boys. Business. Boys. <laughs> it's me. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Now, where's the part where Barrett says something about? second class haven't seen any sign of shinra though <sighs> we can ditch the uniforms i didn't just imagine it right Aww. well it's been an honor captain captain hey, that was really fun yeah about this oh here we go Rufus wanted to make with you i know it's off thanks to little miss ninja stud but personally i think she did us a favor Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted, no matter who's in charge. And you know what? He's probably right about that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening. Okay. Welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing oh, he wasn't as conflicted as I thought, though. And expect to arrive right on schedule. I was probably muted when I said all that. Brief. We wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood tournament in the Oh South. god, that's right. They better not force us to participate in that shit. You're welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. That's probably just side content, You're like if you want to do it. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on. There better not be a mandatory tournament like in FF9. So yeah, Barrett's actually, that was the one, that was the thing I wanted to see. I like the cozy vibe of this so far. That Barrett's actually like, pretty okay with like not making, uh, not having cruise. been able to keep the deal with Shinra, you know? 
he's kind of like, yeah, it's probably for the best. Which, I mean, it, well, yeah, he's probably not wrong about that. Like, place. it's pretty reasonable for him nicer. to assume that. That it's, that, it, you know, only, that we just came from there. it's probably for the best that we didn't make I that deal. I gotta see the deck or wherever we're going first. We got to do inspections to make sure everything's in order. All right, that's it. This is pretty much where we are. I stopped and saved there. So, um, let's get back to, uh, get back to the game. Mm. Let me move my camera back on this scene first. That. And then we can switch back to this. There we go. All right. Let's get on with it. I will change that back later. Good. Unmute the console. There it is. Now we can get on with it. All right. We've recapped and we're caught back up with where we left off yesterday. Um, but I mean, the purpose of most of that was just to, to get my thoughts out there after my microphone muted about the things I was, yeah, the things I had said without realizing that, um, Streamlabs cut the mic feed. So let's get on with it. Chapter five, Blood in the Water. I can close this now. Jesus, the floor, man, it's freaking out. A seaborne soiree. Go to the luxury floor? Okay. So, Tifa and Aerith are getting changed in here. Um. Open this friggin door already! Yuffie's inside here? Oh my god. The roped individuals are trapped inside. Reunion. And she's trapped with them. That's gotta be freaky for Yuffie. I feel- I kinda feel sorry for her. <laughs> she's trapped in there surrounded by a bunch of black robed zombie-like guys just going, Reunion, uh. <laughs> You suck! <laughs> Poor bastards. I'm not gonna listen to in on every single conversation. I'm just gonna like slowly move around the ship. Yo, the hammocks! They look comfortable once you're like snug inside of one. I'm just scared about the process of getting on or getting off of one. That's like, that's when you have the highest risk of just tipping over and falling on your ass. Or having the hammock just like flip and then you just fall right on your face, you know? Once you actually get comfortable and nice and snug in there, you're, it's, you know. Well, they're surfing in the morning and fishing at noon, and then the evening Ah, the evening's reserved for more adult pastimes. I like that. Dude, I'm gonna have to be constantly looking over here now to check the audio, like, every five seconds after what happened yesterday. Adult pastimes. I'm curious about those. We got strippers, hookers, and blow. What's gonna happen on this ship? Sun's going down. We're gonna find out. Paradise where summer never ends. Oh, is this to go upstairs? Yeah, let's keep checking down here first. Blurry ass mirror. We got the scoop on the new president's burning death at his own inauguration. This is gonna make our careers. That rumor about Wu Tai's ninjas being involved. You think it holds any water? Yes, it does. I was pretty depressed. Then I got this vacation, so I guess it turned out pretty good in the end. Yeah, you survived the plate collapse. And you got this. I 
This is a cozy ass vibe right now this cruise ship has. Let's hope it goes better than it did in the original, huh? If Genova slaughters everybody here, it's gonna be kinda sad. <laughs> Sephiroth takes over Genova. Through one of these uh reunion fucking zombie clones over here. And kills everyone. That's um that's gonna be a big sag. Especially that poor bastard who survived survived the plate collapse. Imagine surviving that, getting this vacation, and then dying on the way to the vacation because of uh you know why daddy's so happy Genova. It is. Oh, I've seen one over while well, taking a cruise on the lake. Not quite the ocean, but the lake was so was so big it reminded me of the ocean, so. Similar enough, right? Close enough. Here we go, I can offload my materials that I'm overstocked on here. Phoenix down. By that. Our maritime endeavors for so many years. Okay. Thank you on behalf of us all. Has he ever thought about trying to get it? The mats. Where are they? There we go. I'm gonna try not to be too micromanagey about this. Too much. I think I can do quick mats sometimes. It's like if I get full too often, I kind of have to, you know? Yeah, it doesn't work. Have you ever thought about trying to get it back? Of course he has. He's just biding his time until Yeah, see, eventually this is just going to be too much to be doing this every, every time I reach a shop. Maybe I should just focus on the things that fill up a lot really fast like these now 48 I guess well, that was too many whatever um yeah there we go it's money on the table if I'm not selling when it's overstocked and picking up more so right, how's our SP I remember from last time, five isn't enough to unlock anything anymore for anybody. So there goes that. You shouldn't downplay your contributions. The fuck? The the gears. We didn't even get a fucking room? Come on, man. I want to rest in a proper room. I want a bedroom and everything, man, like the Titanic. I heard ship used to belong to Captain have you been to the lounge on the upper deck yet? It's open to all of our guests. Oh shit, is this the right way? It is. How are you enjoying the food? Oh, well, what's this way then? Sorry, sir. Only ship's crew allowed in here. We're definitely going in there later. Yeah, there's no way we won't. Oh, does this also lead to the... Okay, this is just a different way to get there. Rich people cabins, all right. No wonder we got the red velvet carpet. Queen's blood, the hold. Oh, it's gonna be like FF9. They're gonna force you. Don't have to win, but they're gonna force you to participate, aren't they? Fucking Tetra Master, a shittier version of Triple Triad. Triple Triad's actually a decent enough game to make me enjoy playing it once in a while. Yeah. 
Attention passengers. The Queen's Petro Master on the other hand. Starting shortly. This is your last chance to sign up. And Queen's Blood the is that's all right. Competition will take ashore a trophy as well as a fabulous prize. I just don't want to be forced to play for like a side quest or a no main quest. Of your own? No problem. Decks are available for rental, so come and join in the fun. So, you playing? Do I know you? I'm nice. <laughs> then I might see you around. The hell are even you? For the Queen's Blood Tournament are over here. Unnecessarily aggressive and cocky for no reason. So chat with everybody. Well, Red's right here, so... I'm waiting for the little bings to stop. You are getting in on this too? Solely as a means to study human leisure activities. Now, if you'll excuse me. We are gonna be placed or forced to fucking play this shit. Sir. Again. But I'm afraid animals are not allowed to participate. Oh no. What? What? I know mere animal, thank you. What the fuck is this? Son of a bitch! Remember that Dude doesn't even freak out about the talking dog aspect, he's just He's just like, sorry, dude. You're pretty good at this game, huh? I guess. Not really. <laughs> I kind of flipped all my previous matches. Me, though? Probably not, no. This one. I guess we'll find out. Well, how many matches am I going to be oh, forced to play? Competition could be fun. And who knows? One of us might win it all. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, you won't go far with that attitude. Oh, ye of zero faith. <laughs> ah, now's my chance. I'll be right back. You should see my attitude. I don't even want to play. I had enough of this shit for that stupid side quest we had to do back in the grasslands. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Okay. I bet deep down you're a card shark, and you can smell blood in the water. The fuck does that mean? I bet deep down you're a card shark. If you play, I'll be sure to cheer I want to you speak on. with your manager. Oh, Red 13 officially win Karen mode. He was like, that's it? I want to speak to your manager. I'm going full Karen. You join it? <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous prize, here I come. Cool. But maybe change first. <laughs> Why? He looks fine like that. This? No. I'm starting to dig it. See? Yeah. Tell me I don't look good. <laughs> like I was born of the bride. He does look good, honestly, no cap. How's your chance? Let's do this. You done arguing with him, Red? You alright, buddy? Why am I only just now learning this is restricted to humans? There should be a sign. <laughs> They don't expect talking dogs or talking cats. He looks more like a cat, but they all keep calling him a dog. I really don't know, man. Why am I only just now learning this is restricted to humans? This Chester Cheat over here. Where the hell did Barrett go? I wasn't watching. He... He's gone? Shit. That's a surefire way to become Which way did he go? The ladies from the Honeybee Inn. Did you know? I didn't think we'd see them here in full costume. Another bench? Hmm. Shit's gonna get fucked up for sure. The chapter's called Blood on the Water for a reason. Oh, there he is. The novel's gonna wreak havoc on this place or something. That is gonna make you proud, honey. I can't talk to him. Hey, what's this? Ooh, piece of candy. Fortification material. That must be for like barrier and stuff. Not a bad idea. Just start leveling that up if I can. Oh yeah, I don't need this anymore. I can switch this back to uh I think I had this. Yeah. 
Who had healing? Was it Barrett? Yeah, he did. But it wasn't here, right? No, he did. His latest weapon just doesn't let him, uh... Oh, no, they are linked. I thought those slots weren't linked. What did he have here that I gave to Cloud temporarily for that? I think it was lightning and wind? No, he didn't have any of that. I can't remember. I cannot remember what I took off of Tifa and Barrett temporarily. Or, um... Whatever reason. This is when Cloud was escaping Junon. I had- I swapped some stuff around. Lightning and wind on cloud. Yeah. And then. I don't remember what the hell you had before, so we're gonna give you fortification. And she had the other elements fire and ice. She had lightning and wind, but I'm swapping them. Alright, I think we're good. That's my main party, so... We really haven't found, like, any new... armor or much of anything. Yeah. Nothing's really happened, I don't have to save yet. The key to enjoying your voyage is making the most of your downtime. Hey, for some people, that's just sitting on your ass, leaning back, and watching the fucking grass grow. Or in this case, since we're on a boat, watching the ocean waves splash on the boat below. Sunset. You know, maybe drinking some alcohol, maybe not. Go check out out here. The reason I say that is because it also isn't necessary to feel like to constantly feel like you have to be doing something actively to enjoy a vacation. There's some people who make that mistake and they end up stressing themselves out or even stressing out their fellow uh, people that they're vacationing with, family and friends, because they feel compelled to have to be doing something to make the most of it, especially if it's an expensive trip. I've been a victim of this, okay? I've gone on vacation with people who can't sit still and just relax even when the environment is supposed to be for that, and it's just like, dude, can you just chill the fuck out? Like, why are you treating this like boot camp? Like, now we gotta go over here, now we gotta go over there, now we gotta do this and do that. It's like, can we just chill and take it slow? Like, that's the whole point of being on vacation, right? Like, we're supposed to be able to relax. If you wanna be a little busy, be on vacation. Go do that on your own. I'm gonna relax. I hear music. Straight. Look, a flock of seagulls. Neither did I, honestly. The band? Now shift into spearhawk form and glide along the sea breeze. Oh, nice. They're doing like yoga, kind of. All right, Claude. He joined in, just like the exercise in uh, Nibelheim. Yep, I made it. What's the weather looking like over there? Sunny? Clear skies? Next, we'll be moving into Terror of the Deep, plunging down into the sea. This beach. I really do want to take a cruise. Uh, a cruise like this one day. Massage. Yeah, six pack. Kinda, of, sorta, of, yeah. Let me get a drink. A Moogle hoodie. This Moogle hoodie is the 
My mic's still working? Okay. Oh, then I have to be checking that now. And I keep saying it wrong. My mic did not stop working. Streamlabs OBS just stopped listening to it. It just cut the feed on it. It wasn't a hardware issue, it was a software issue. Besides, nothing can compare to that baby. It's in a league of its own. Well, excuse me for trying to be romantic. Exactly, just take the compliment, dumbass. What the hell? Damn, she's trying to like flirt with you and you're over here like I could get Steven to take a shower to let them around. Always best to think of your fellow passengers as family when you're out at sea. Hmm. Is that an actual saying? Curious about that. We'll do some more yoga before we go back inside. Come shift into spearhawk form and glide along the sea breeze. <laughs> it automatically stops me. And release. <laughs> now become the sholopod twisting along the beach. You do another one? I think I have to walk away and come back. Hold on. Next, we'll be moving into Terror of the Deep, plunging down into the sea. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The things you can make Cloud do. Just... That looks like a fucking dance that used to be popular in real life. I can't remember which one I'm thinking of or like what it's called. It was a meme for a while, like it went viral on the internet. It looks similar, not the same, but similar to it. I can't remember the name of it anymore though, it was years ago. It was years ago, so... Yeah, I know, I don't want to do this shit, but I guess I have to. No. Well, we'll be here if you change your mind. You mean you'll be here until I say yes because the game requires me to do this bullshit? Here to sign up for our Queen's Blood Man. tournament. First, I had to do it for a side quest. Now I gotta do it for MSQ. God damn it! So, who's Let's get this over with. Competing? Cloud Strife. All right, Mr. Strife. Do you have your own cards? Yeah. Yep. Well, you're all set to join. Good luck and have a great time today. Can't fucking wait, dude. I'm so pumped. Yay. Welcome to the Shinra 8's Queen's Blood Tournament. Only one of our card battlers will walk away with the trophy and the glory in today's competition. But who will it be? I me. Mean. Titov will be your host for this spectacular event as we seek to crown our next Queen's Blood Champion. Queen's Blood Invitational. Many passengers have been chosen. Mm-hmm. Not gonna be me because I'm not gonna care. In fact, the faster I can lose, the better, so we can just move the plot forward. Five rounds of play? God damn, dude. Did you say filler episode? Today's tournament will not affect your Queen's Blood rank. But if you wish to quit at any time, speak with the attendant on the right. Every journey begins with a single step. So put your best foot forward and seek out your first competitor. So we can skip this bullshit. Oh, you aren't planning we'll on dropping out of the tournament. Yes, I am. I don't want to do this dumb shit. We'll Let's start go. With our first pair. If that's what you want, then so be it. I've removed you from the bracket. I can't See believe you it. Are, Cloud is yep. giving up. Was the pressure simply more than he could handle? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't care for this game. I got frustrated enough and wasted a whole hour on it doing a side quest earlier for it. Battle, we are finally ready to crown the winner of tonight's tournament. I present to you. Not so fast, good captain. I've yet to show my hand. <laughs> oh my god, Red 13, really? <laughs> He looks like Chester Cheeto, man. We got a Cheeto sponsorship. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing to 
it. That is Chester Chino in a Shinra uniform, dude. You can't convince me otherwise. Mom. What a twist! At the 11th hour, the poor kid is crying over there. Will our champion agree to face him? And is our man of mystery a contender? I know I can't wait to find out. Seriously? <laughs> Though I am far from humanoid, the illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. How did his paws spin in there? knowledge blind you. Clear your mind and take another look. He's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> this is the best shit ever, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Regardless, we can discuss your misgivings about my appearance later. Regina, do you accept my challenge? Why would I? Oh, I'm not above begging. <sighs> if you want me to beat you that badly. His tail gives it away, right? The tail wagging. Alright. Prove you can beat him first. I dropped out of this bullshit. Come on. Very well. I just wanted to watch. Cloud, are you ready? For what? I didn't agree to this. Thank you. Come on, Cloud. Kick his butt. You got this, right? Oh, this is some oh, more yeah. fucking... It appears that Cloud has agreed to play oh, an exhibition match. One last time. Get ready to shuffle! You suck! <laughs> <laughs> they force you to do a match anyway. All right, then. Let's play. Yeah! You get forced into one anyway. God fucking damn it. You <laughs> I forfeited for a reason. I didn't want to do this crap. Just end this as quickly as possible. I really don't like card games. <laughs> Triple Triad is good enough for me to tolerate and sometimes even enjoy once in a while, but I mean... Once in a great while. Like in FF14, I've only ever done it against the weakest NPC at the Gold Saucer for weekly challenge objectives. I've never played it against another person, never will. In FF8, I only did the whole side quest for Triple Triad like one time because I wanted to see like the little extra scenes and side quests you get from it. Through it one playthrough and it wasn't on stream either. And then I was like never again because it was just so tedious and I just didn't like it. Um, sure, just why not? Why not just do this? Doesn't matter. Take up the gauge. Down, boy. Never. And there's more where that came from. Thank you. I was like, are you just not gonna pass? I'll be like, in... again, if you like. No, I'm good. I win this round. The well fought on your part. These human pastimes are quite amusing, aren't they? <laughs> to some people. How the hell did you get my so thing. good? By watching others play, a hunter must be observant. I first learned the rules and then the strategies. It was just a matter of applying what I've learned. Huh. It certainly paid off. Congratulations to our mysterious challenger. Never in my life have I seen such skill. All right, let's see his match with the, the chick now. Match. And as there can only be one champion, this magnificent trophy rightfully belongs to Regina. Wasn't well, she going to go up against yeah, him first? It's his. He earned it. Honestly, I've never seen anyone play like that. It was eye-opening. Yeah, he just played one card and then we just ended it. Should yeah, it's amazing. Go around. <laughs> oh, I know. When the time comes... Uh, then the trophy goes to our newcomer. Human intellect simply can't compete. <laughs> <laughs> and on that incredible note, our Queen's Blood Son tournament draws bitch. to a close. Thank you again to our amazing contenders for making today so memorable. We hope all our passengers enjoy the tournament and that the remainder of your voyage with us is both peaceful and relaxing. That was a blast. Sure. Yeah.
boycotting competitive video or competitive games. I couldn't video games or not. Up the chance. Well, lucky for us that you didn't. You were amazing. So, what now? We arrive in the morning, right? Yep. Well then, I'm gonna get me some much needed shut eye. You all can do as you please. Nah, we'll come with. All right. I think and hope that I just skipped and speed ran a good chunk of nonsense for the MSQ that I now no longer have to do. I like it. We can just continue the damn story now. Let's go. Going to bed. Oh my god, he's still walking around like that. Chester Cheeto, man. I've been, I've been calling him that every now and then throughout this whole playthrough. And then they literally make him look just like him. Like this. Like like the uh, the Shinra helmet literally doubles up as like sunglasses, you know? We got a Cheeto sponsorship for sure. Okay, we got done with the, the filler nonsense. What's really gonna happen next in the story now? Oh wait, over here? Oh, where are they going? I guess I'll follow them for a bit. Barrett's going over there. Esther Cheeto's going over there. <laughs> and these two are... going in here. So we couldn't come in because they were changing earlier. But they changed here in front of all these people. Okay. Unless they're just implying these people weren't here when they first went in. A vial of Solaris. What is that? I did the same in FF9 with Tetra Ma the, Tetra Ma the Tetra Master Tournament that you're forced to participate in. You can't forfeit out of that one, sadly. You actually have to, like, try to play or whatever. But I just, yeah, I just go in there and throw my cards and just win or lose. Hope to win or lose as fast as possible so I can just fucking move on. I hate that this game has put the same thing in this. However, if there is New Game Plus, and I decide to go for the trophies or just 100% completion, and obviously I'll use a YouTube guide for this, otherwise I still wouldn't do it. Um, if I build, like, some kind of overpowered deck, then the next time I play this, then I'll actually, like, probably play the tournament and see what alternate cutscenes we see for winning. If I can cheese it, basically, if there's, like, a cheese strat, like, a deck that can just wipe everything out without having to really try, then on my second playthrough of this, on New Game Plus, I will actually play through the tournament and just, you know, wipe the floor with everyone and, and we'll see what the alternate cutscenes are. But not this time around. Hey, Tifa, babe. Get on with the fucking show. Hey, man. Still can't come in? Now you're stuck in there with the zombies. Sorry. Sorry, Yuffie. Get fucked. Are you gonna stay like that? I guess he is. Where's Barrett? I saw him walk in here. Yeah. Alright, so I'm, my guess right now, my prediction, <laughs> poor Yuffie's dying of motion sickness too. Um, my prediction is that uh, in the middle of the night, Genova's gonna slaughter a bunch of people or cause a big... cause a big ruckus and we're gonna have to go take care of it or something. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna make a save here. There we go. Pretty tired. Get the hell out of here. Swing! <sighs> Ooh. Classic going to sleep music. Meridian Ocean. Night. The ocean has a name now. <laughs> he doesn't even fit on the hammock. There it is. Attention all Surprise, motherfucker! We have an emergency on board. Return to your cabin and yeah. remain there for the duration. Military personnel are to report to the deck immediately. Military, huh? 
Guess that's us. Or we can just sit here and let the Shinra troops man handle it. But okay. Sure, Cloud. People are already panicking. Okay, we're Resident Evil uh, Revelations now. The one with Jill on the, uh, stranded on the cruise liner in the middle of the ocean. Attention all passengers. We have an emergency on board. Return to your cabins and remain there. The military personnel are to report to the deck immediately. I hope so. More sound coming from there. Attention, all passengers. We have an emergency on board. Return to your cabins and remain there. Military personnel are to report to the deck immediately. Head up to the deck. These stairs will get you there. Yeah, the, the rooms are closed, so that's all we can do. Wait, did anybody say anything? Or anything. It's like the Titanic. It's like the Titanic. The water's 80 degrees. It's fine. I actually have no idea if it's warm or cold. The captain's waiting for you on the deck. The captain's waiting for you on the deck. The captain's waiting for you on the deck. Hey, don't push me. There you are. Over here. Quickly. What's up, dude? The whole ship is crawling with bees. They're everywhere. Please, you have mm. to help. Copy. We're on it. Good. I'll round up the stragglers, but there's a lot of ground to cover. You, give me a hand. Lead the way. Thanks. Follow me. We're gonna have to do a materia swap if our party's locked. What the fuck? Nighttime here. I like that. It reflects the time outside. Okay. Timeless rod. Empress's scepter. Which one's your best? Well, that one's better for physical, but not magic. Okay, so we'll keep timeless rod. What does she have to use for this? Chrono Aegis? Or Aegis? Okay, you swap armor with... Ferret. If we're gonna have to switch between two parties the whole way through, it's gonna suck, kind of. <laughs> and you swap armor with... Um... Red, but first, what does she have here? Steadfast and luck up, okay. Now they gotta swap material. So all of Barrett's I'll give to Aerith. That'll keep it organized. And then all of Tifa's to uh, Red's. the luck up she had on there it is all right i think we should be ready to go crescent claw do you have anything better no you've already mastered it too so i don't have to spam it oh yes we gotta swap their accessories too kind of this is not as important but our wrist guards i'll give those to red i think we have a spare set of those though i don't think i have to yeah there we go. We have a lot of this. Okay, I think we're good. Make our way there, huh? Alright.
If you've never seen any real life combat, it can be hard to remember your training. Fuck they at. <sighs> there they are. They can only be hit when they're launching attacks of their own. He's lightning on me. Okay. Go on. Thank you, Eris. <laughs> Don't even have to use lightning on me. Experimental what? Bargain. Bargain pullus? Should have read their other profile. I got you. What did it say? Monsters created by Shinra's research and division and department, uh, research and development division, and infused with Genova cells. Okay. Bionic weapons of mass destruction. After a countdown, they'll use deafening screech. Can't be pressured. So just fucking kill them. All right. <laughs> the game it literally says just fucking kill their ass. Before there's too many of them. Don't overdo it. Oh no. Here goes. Raise a barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you. That's it. Nice. Bubble. It worked. Did its job. He tried to attack her. Before you attack her, wrap your whacker. He and wrap his whacker. Dude, it's actually working pretty well. He's Sorcerer Storm on this guy. Hey, you oh, he follows me too! Master the Chrono Aegis ability. Oh good, it, ga it gained proficiency through use. Not me having to use spam it. But rather just from how many times it worked on enemies trying to attack her. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Rolling thunder. There, let's see what this does. How shocking! Death stream. You'll be blown away. I'm starting to feel over leveled, which is a good thing. I like that actually. We can handle this. We're killing them pretty quick. Without with little effort. I always prefer being over leveled than under leveled or even being at the you know, even. Why I would always grind by never running away from battles in uh, classic FF games or RPGs in general. I grinded if I had to. Otherwise, I would just make sure never to run away so I could not fall behind in levels and stuff. So I wouldn't have to grind later, basically. My method for defeating a boss that I got stuck on just grind. Not all games allow you to okay? surpass them like that, yeah. though. But, but those fiends, they got below deck. Most classic RPGs, you could just solve the problem by doing that. Help here. That's what I'm here for, baby. <laughs> She's got no material on because I swapped it out. Give him your arm. A 
does it look? Bad. Those things are everywhere. Where's Titov? Don't know. He said something about getting more firepower, then took off. What lurks beyond? I don't know who our final party is going to be. So, I don't even know if I should bother swapping the equipment again. Yeah, I love it when the game does something like this. I like the, cla the classic panic music. That's the room Yuffie was trapped in with the Sephiroth shadows, I guess we're calling them now. Clones. They're getting sucked! Nightmare fuel, what the fuck, dude? Allow me. What pressured it? Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they're casting a spell will pressure them? Did Tifa do that? Oh no, it also says evading onslaught. Or attacking them during sub astral fury will also pressure them. Mutated beings that somehow fused with the people in black robes. Protected by a tough exoskeleton, an exoskeleton, and myriad appendages, they stalk toward their prey, slashing as they go. I saw that. Okay. Come on. Uh. Wait, why did he switch targets? They lost onto that one, Cloud. Yeah, I gotta switch characters up. Thought he moved out of range. aren't being targeted at random. It's the reunion theory. The monsters themselves had Genova cells in them. They probably detected the, the Genova cells in the... En route to Costa del Sol. Unidentified the clones. Have surrounded and boarded our vessel. A small contingent of troopers is engaging the creatures as we speak. So he's probably going to talk about it right now, Hojo. The fiends have... Merged with some of the passengers. Yeah, he's gonna be like the reunion theory. Tattooed men in black robes. The Genova reunion. I contacted public security, but they said this falls under your jurisdiction. They are your lab rats. <laughs> now, here it comes. An intriguing development. This new mutation. Mm, and one resulting from fusion, no less. The superior genetics producing a far stronger being. Uh. How I envy your opportunity to be present for this epochal event. At the very least, I must harvest a sample of its DNA. So, what should we do? Ensure the experiment proceeds uninterrupted. And in return, you will have pride of place in my lab. However, 
do mark your body to aid in identification. <laughs> just die for me is what he just said. Sick fuck. Barrett. You son of a- Come on. He basically just turned all of us on this boat into his little personal test subjects. Great. We're going this way. Okay, assuming we're not going to change party members again. I hope. I have to swap this back with... Who was it? Him, right? I love all these new mixes of the classic FF7 music. So fucking good. And I heard Barrett, so he's probably gonna get his stuff back too. Or should, because we're probably gonna have him in our party soon enough. Wait, no. Anyone in here? There's Barrett. We can go down that way or we can jump through here, I'm guessing. Shit, here we go again. Oh, he's trying to run away. He's like, no, it's not right. Ah! You guys are here. Damn. Get fucking wrecked. Too bad. Ice. It's another it's a different type of fusion. It's the same thing though. They've lost all sense of self and attack anything in sight. That is. Holy shit. Deal with that. Let me handle this. <laughs> Bring it. Here. Finish him off. Let's pour on the pain. Enough. There. Too late. What a twist. Nothing to it. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Don't overdo it. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, we got this. Captain Tito. Is he still alive? No way. Take the lead. All set. 
He's not doing anything. Might as well fuck him up now. Our ship is huge. Unblockable. Oops. giving us these for a reason here's silence that's ominous how's the mic doing all right streamlabs hasn't destroyed it yet Unfortunate souls. Ah! Shit. It's a 
surprise, motherfucker. I Jesus. had to. For the sake of my passengers and crew. The Nova's theme music is playing. Jesus, she is freaking out. Sephiroth. They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. Okay, hold it. I already have Cloud Baron Tifa set, but I had to be sure. Let's do it. Nova Emergent. Top secret Shinra experimental specimen. What was the name of the first version of Genova we fought at the end of Remake? I forgot. A fragment of its carcass has fused with the robed individuals granting it this twisted form. It's able to induce hallucinations that warp the very space around it. Inflicting enough damage will pressure it at which point certain portions of its body will become vulnerable to attack. Destroying these discrete parts will significantly fill the stagger gauge. Dude, the, the new Genova theme music, holy shit. Okay. Up you go. Yeah. 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 
damn, I was a little late on that. Still did work. Cloud, don't let her fool you. Oh, again with the gaslighting, dude. <laughs> Sephiroth wants Tifa dead, man. He wants her gone. Cloud? That's what I said before, man. It's because she's the only one who could actually I'm help uh, Cloud regain his true memories, so he wants to get rid of her. Good evening, everyone. This is your captain speaking. I'm happy to announce that the earlier disturbance has been resolved. All passengers are once again free to move about the vessel as they please. We will be arriving as scheduled at Costa del Sol in the morning. On behalf of the entire Shinra 8 crew, we wish you a peaceful night's sleep and hope you wake refreshed and ready for fun in the sun. Cryptic cameo. Chapter 6 Fool's Paradise. Costa del Sol! We made it! And alive, too. Just arrived and already ate it. Come on, let's get out of here. Should probably wait for them. So, Barry, you don't like the beach? Right. <sighs> so a little sightseeing couldn't hurt, could it? I See? Mean, come on, we're in Costa del Sol, people. Costa del Sol. Barrett's got the right attitude. Let's go. He knows what's up. Chief is getting on Perhaps board. Perhaps we could find some shade first. I'm about to melt. Could <laughs> save you. What? <laughs> what the Hang fuck? Hang loose. <laughs> Hang loose. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, Greetings <laughs> and welcome to Costa del Sol. I'm Capono, the mayor here. Go on. Here you are. Perfect. 
A gift to get Welcome. you in the mood. Welcome. Thanks. After all, there's nothing like a good Welcome. play to kickstart your getaway. <laughs> that color really brings out your eyes. A shimmering seaside paradise awaits you. It's like going to Hawaii or with something. With only the bluest skies and earthly delights on all sides. <laughs> so forget your dead end nine to fives. Cause here the fun lasts all the way to sunrise. Hell yeah. Welcome to Wonderland, my fair <laughs> lady. Miller. <laughs> Son of a hey. bitch. You see that? Yeah, but let's find a hotel and shower first. Then we can go. Great plan. You better not be suggesting we all hit the beach. The hell's up your ass, man? Come on. Hey. Why not? Hey, I saw that. Don't go thinking I didn't. You two said it with your eyes. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> the combat simulator has been updated to version 3.2. It goes up by 0.5 every time we go to a new region. Alexander is the new summon entity. So that's it. We've made it to our new big exploration zone, right? That's what that means. How big is this area? Holy fucking shit. I doubt it's all this, right? Like, I can see it being... Most of this here. Sure. But does it really go all the way down here too? It's not two different regions? This could actually be it. Yeah, the, this whole fucking thing. Holy shit. Well, if so, we're gonna be... This is our new home for the next, like, five streams. No, not like three to four, but... Especially because we're starting to become a little overpowered, but still. Our new home. All right. Our new like quest hub exploration zone. The pattern the game holds, you know. This time we did two chapters of um, linear MSQ before hitting another big open world exploration zone though. The Junon and uh, Junon was kind of open world, but it's just a town, you know, we just shopped around and then did the parade and went on our way. <sighs> yeah, Junon and the boat, that was two chapters. And now we're back to uh, open world stuff again. Sweet! I like the flow of the game, man. The pacing and the... The progression of it, it's nice. Again, it feels like a much better version of FF15. Much better FF15, basically. Hang loose! Safety is our top priority. And in light of last night's incident, we are temporarily suspending operations. Oh, we can't even we go back! We back on schedule by tomorrow. We're stuck here now. Hang loose. Okay. Safety is we aim to be back the on only schedule by downgrade. The only downgrade here from uh from FF15 is not having the fancy car. That's it. We'll get the buggy later, though. I remember seeing that in one of the last trailers I watched. Hey, ladies. You never see from Venus. The Royal Coast. Oh, hell yeah. Riding wheelies! That's what they're- is that really what these things are called? I thought they had a different name. I've seen people ride these in real life. They're not actually called wheelies, are they? Wheelies offer an easy way to explore the sights of Costa del Sol. Press R2 to accelerate, L2 to reverse, and use left stick to steer. Check in at the Tourist Information Center to receive rewards based on your total distance traveled. They want you to use this. Test drive event. New discovery made. Turn in place, look. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Let's go! Whoa, these things actually go kind of fast. 
Flights are meant to be Gold Saucer Flights, Costa del Sol and Gold Saucer. Oh, we're gonna have a helicopter that takes us to the Gold Saucer. Eventually. I'm guessing we have to go there on foot first, but you know. Finally, a real vacation. If it's gonna be like the, um, the Chuggle Book carrots, there won't be any animation for it though, which will be kind of meh. You know, the Chuckle Book carries that took us from June on to the grasslands. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm running into all this shit. Hold on, move, babe. Can you break the benches, too? Oh, that's too much. This ain't GTA. <laughs> it's not Grand Theft Auto. Hello. Welcome. Portside Provisions. Ace since whoever drinks it? No wonder it's so expensive. Ace without having to have the magic material equipped. Ooh. Thanks for stopping by. Right on. Where the hell's the nearest hotel or bench? Run wild. A moment's rest. And a piano. Costa del Sol. Oh, I see where we're at. Yeah, the dock is more well-developed. I didn't recognize that at first. But yeah, this as soon as you leave the dock screen, you would go into... Uh, you would cross this bridge. And the Costa del Sol mansion or whatever that you could... The villa you could buy for like 30 grand or something is right there. And then that way... This is how you exit town, yeah. Damn, we can't go in this time. I want to buy it. I got 30 grand. Damn, I ain't catch the last of what he said, but he's talking about ordering a pizza and having it brought down to the beach. We can park here or get a new one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's to leave town. They don't want to leave him with the wheelie. What do we got here? Hang loose. Want to know what Costa del Sol has to offer? Then we've got you covered. All right. Let's learn about Main Street. What's up? You'll find a bevy of fantastic shops lining Main Street. If you plan to spend the day shopping, I'd recommend getting a wheelie. They're fun and convenient. Definitely. The beach. Our beach is host to a number of fun activities. Surf, scuba, and even chocobote. But chilling with a cocktail is also a great option. That would be my choice. Just relax. Um, before we get to the hotels, what about the restaurants? Bar del Sol is a hot spot a that is not to be missed. Not only do they serve the best seafood around, but they also have amazing drinks that'll knock you off your feet. Be careful not to overindulge. We don't want you getting sick. Hotels in the area. While we have plenty of options, you can't go wrong with either the Royal Coast or Costa del Sol Resort. Unfortunately, according to my records, every hotel is booked solid today. Unless there's a cancellation, it'll be hard to find a room. Damn. Okay, well, we found that out. It arriving here, I'm, I imagine, is like... They said the same feeling we'll get when we first get to, uh... Tuliola or whatever when I finally get the FF14 Dawn Trail. Summer Beach Vacation episode. Hang loose! Today's your lucky day. There's a surefire way to make seeing the sights even more magical by taking them in on a state-of-the-art wheelie. Well, yeah, if you're yeah. interested, we're doing a special promotion. What do you say? Just hop on one of these babies and ride around town at your leisure. That's it. No strings attached. You can even win fabulous <sighs> prizes, depending on how far you travel. So how about it, friend? Interested in taking a roll around Costa del Sol? Already doing it. 200 meters smelling salts, 1,000 high potion, 2,000 headband, 4,000 pedometer pin. I'm already 393 meters in. Count me in. Now that's what I like to hear. And just like that, you're registered and ready to get rolling. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? 
Congratulations! You've ridden enough to earn yourself a rookie license. The great thing about wheelies is how little Mako they use. They're super eco-friendly. So keep doing the planet a favor and enjoy your wheelie time. Did we get these in uh, Tuliolo? No spoilers for Dawn Trail, but uh... It'd be kind of nice if we did. I want to ride around on a wheelie in FF14. We need this as a mount. Hang loose! Thanks again for taking that we- Oh, right, this is- we just come back here every time we hit right a milestone. Here waiting yeah. for you. Oh. It'll build up slowly on its own as I ride around. I'm sure. West Coast Provisions. East Coast. How do we, uh... Ah! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I should have known I wasn't going to be able to go upstairs, but, you know, it's a video game. I could hope. It would have looked awkward as shit, but maybe, you know. Maybe the game would have let us. What the fuck? There is over here leaping over shit. The Royal Coast. I like that blue one better. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to that one. Hell yeah. I like blue more than red. Oh fuck. Well, that didn't last long. Welcome to the Royal Coast. Please enjoy your stay. Stop. I'm terribly sorry, but we're all booked up for the evening. Damn. Dude, this hotel is nice. Piano concert? Guests can't enter right now? Okay. Like, I'm really starting to get an itch for going on, like, an actual summer vacation now, man. I really do. Between this and then Dawn Trail being released in the same year, Phoenix is really encouraging us to go out and get some sun. Really, though. <laughs> it's just... Not a bad thing though. I mean, the sun is pretty. You like stay out of the, stay out of the sun during high UV index. You know, don't get a sunburn, don't get a tan. That does uh, mess up your skin. But other than that, going out to a nice beach resort wouldn't be a bad idea. Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. by my bodacious beach bod. Yep, 100%. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Wait, you are? I uh, didn't expect you to have an eye for beauty. But yeah, why not? don't forget that I'm more than just a pretty face. Are you sure you don't want me on your team? Oh, she's still trying to join. I was wondering because it was italicized if if he was gonna say it, like, sarcastically and she was gonna take it that way, too? Or if she was gonna take it seriously? Either way, I'm fine with it. Think of the comic relief I bring to the team, as well as some much-needed youthful energy. She does look pretty good, I gotta say. Where, where the hell did she get this outfit so quick? We just got here, though. Think of the comic relief I bring to the team, as well as some <laughs> much-needed youthful energy. Well, he has brought a lot of that. Enjoy your ice cream, Yuffie. She's like, check out my bodacious bod. Well, she's not shy. I said it before in the original game when, uh... She took her shot with Cloud on the Gold Saucer date. When I showed all three of the... Is it three? Yeah, Barrett, Yuffie, Tifa, and Aerith. Sorry, no, there's four dates, right? 
Yeah, when I showed all the dates on that one episode when we were playing the original months months ago. She was the only one brave enough to actually like make a move on Cloud. Whereas Tifa and Edith just kinda <laughs> Yuffie's a go-getter. She's got confidence. Like not a books. Hmm. Come one, come all, to the best shop in town! Okay, these are all item shops. This is whatever. Guessing this hotel will probably take us. Oh, there's a ramp. It's not a... The problem with this thing is it doesn't drive like a car. Like, if you push left on the stick, yeah, it'll start turning, but like... It goes wherever you, like, directly to where you're facing it, see? Like, you go down like that. You don't just hold left and right to keep rotating. Like, if I just hold left, he's just gonna face left. If I hold right, he's only gonna turn to the right and then just keep going that way. Whereas I'm used to it being more like tank controls when you're in a vehicle. So if I hold left or right and I just keep holding it, he should be doing this. Oh, yeah, I can't even... Like, he should just keep rotating instead, but instead I'm, I'm doing it like that. It's very uh, counterintuitive for me, so it's a little difficult to drive this thing. My mind keep on, uh, hey, keeps wanting to, uh... Coffee and tacos? Coffee and tacos? Hmm. Yeah, my mind keeps wanting to, uh, to use tank controls. Oh, we did a full lap. Okay. I'm planning to make memories that'll last a lifetime. You want it? We've got it. Find anything to Real good selection today. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, let me go to the end over here. Talk about perfect jogging weather. Pirates Rampage. Oh, we got mini games. Okay, we'll probably check those out later. We're already more than halfway done with the, the little challenge. Monster Burger's calling your name. Come get a taste of the monster that we hope you will talk. Costa del Sol Resort. Not as fancy as the other hotel, but I'll take it You're if they got a room. Accepting customers with prior reservations today. Fuck. We hope to see Fuck. you again soon. We're not gonna find a hotel, guys. We're gonna have to slum it on the fucking streets. Keep us doing the you stole the emote. You again soon. Tifa! Cloud, my bro! Johnny! Tifa! Dylan! No way. Son of Johnny? a bitch. Yep. It's Johnny. Whew. Hey, guys. Looking good. He's dressed up, too. <laughs> Same to you. So, what are you doing here? Living the dream, building my legend, being the owner of a bona fide hotel, though not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence! We were just looking for a place to stay. Do you have any rooms? Do I have rooms? I got rooms for days. Enough rooms to make your head spin. <laughs> That's what happens when you have no guests. <laughs> We're gonna end up in some shack. Shy? We go way back, right? It's the least I can do. <laughs> Fucking idiot. All right, let's get you settled in. Now? We were looking for a room. Of course, come on. <laughs> Make sure you stick close. Can't have my guests getting lost. I'm taking this. But all things considered, it's looking pretty sweet. How I got my hands on it, though. Now that's a story. I was cursed with the unholy trinity. No job, no money, and worst of all, no girl. I was that's a nobody. The unholy trinity, yeah. Walking garbage. But Mayor Capono believed in me. We've all been there. Destined to make something of myself, so he sold me a hotel for cheap. 
How cheap you ask? Uh, Half market price cheap. The dude even damn. loaned me the money for it. There's no kinder man in all the world. Got a real good selection. It's gonna be a real shithole, isn't it? Where the hell is he taking us? Yeah, we're going in some backwards place. Look at this re redevelopment district. <laughs> going into the fucking ghetto, man. The ghetto. Just reminded of that song. I'm on one of the radio stations in San Andreas. I was pretty sure it's a. Uh, Los Santos one. <laughs> Behold my pride and joy, Johnny's Seaside Inn. <sighs> well, uh, hey, it's wow, something, it's, uh, huh? I don't know. Great. I know, right? Maybe my eyes are failing, <laughs> me, but I don't see no seaside. Yeah. It's not about the sights, but the smells. <laughs> ah, how that fresh salt air tickles the nose. <laughs> well, come on in. Guess it'd be it could be worse. Gonna end up on the street, man. Could be worse. Let's get everyone checked in. Tifa, you'll be staying in room 101. Aerith, you're in 102. As for the dudes, you can all bunk together in 103. Nah. The price? I'd never even think of charging you. Besides, uh, I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. <sighs> Make yourselves at home. It's not like there's anyone else here anyway. Oh, you guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Oh, fate is so cruel, depriving me of Tifa and beachwear. <laughs> Time for that shower? Yeah, at least I'd we, say so. We get to see you her like that, see at least. Him? How soon is soon? Soon enough. No need to stick to a schedule here. Thank you. Right? Tifa right. understands me. You win. Think I'll go take a walk. No, I should maybe get changed first. Get into the mood, bear. Come on, man. Let's relax. What could go wrong? There, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Still looking good. He's back in well, it. Back in the Dylan. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so now we're on our own. Now we get to explore. For real, for real. I was just gonna knock, I swear. Well ventilated, plenty of shade, a lovely hotel. All right, it could be worse, yeah. May not be fancy like those other resor re resorts, but it's it's actually better than nothing, yeah. It's really not that bad. Unarmed. Look, the holster for the sword. Thanks, Johnny. like the one for Queen's blood, you know? Whoa. The shower. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Not even a curtain. But I mean, if... If you're in the room alone, that's not really a problem. I'm more worried about why it looks already, like, somewhat rusted out. We're not gonna hang our hats, we're gonna hang our sword. <laughs> Hold down the fort till I get back. Huh. Beach boys. Hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna be some good shit. This will be for next segment though, I gotta take a break. I bet I can't do a slash sit on the bed. No roleplay emotes in my FF7 Rebirth? 
Damn. I don't even have a good view right now. For like AF King. I guess hopefully a cutscene doesn't I feel like a cutscene might play if I go out, because they close the door for a reason, you know. I guess we'll just look at this. Damn, I wanna get an angle where it glows more and you can see the whole thing. Whatever. Alright, yeah, I'll be RB. Then we'll hit the beach when I get back. There we go. Ooh. Dylan! We're back. You son of a bitch. And luckily the microphone is working. For now. Until Streamlabs decides to spontaneously just turn it off on me. Alright, let's hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. Let's go to the beach! Come on! Why you gotta do me like that, shower? Did she get hit by cold water? <laughs> you alright, Aerith? Did she like open it and it's just like I heard the splash? Well ventilated, plenty of shade, a lovely hotel. Everything all right? Uh, this looks like it'll collapse if I try to sit on it. Much less sleep. Yeah, we got a we got a piece of shit hotel. Okay. We're staying in the fucking dumps of this place, man. Holy shit. This place is a fucking dump. What's a stand-up guy like you staying at a dump like this for? I can show you somewhere way better. Place is a sty, right? Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's drowning in debt to keep it open. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know? Okay. Can I help you? Why are you even here? <laughs> Place is a sty, right? Whole himself. building's barely worth a hundred. Yeah. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know. You literally have to cross a back alley to get to it. I mean, yeah. We know, dude. It's fucked up. Hey, how about an orb or two? I already got a pair. Hang loose. Oh, you mean? Don't tell me you're Never alone. Mind. I am the at the moment. The for partying, and one's not a party. It's a pity, but you don't have to be lonely any longer. We're bringing people no, I together. Don't. Solo sun tanners like you for the special event. One we guarantee will spice up your social life. Find love at Costa Del Amor. All right, ladies. What I gotta do? So, will you be joining us or what? I'll pass. <laughs> that is something he would say, yeah. Oh. Got plans with those guys. You <laughs> What so the they're friends of yours? Then can you do us a solid? Those roped people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill the vibe. So if you could get them out of here, we'd be so grateful. Speaking of clothes, they'll never let you on the beach looking like that. Oh shit. This is Costa del Sol. You gotta loosen up. Let it all out. And to help you with that, <gasps> here's lucky ticket number seven. Take it. With that, you can play Pirates Rampage and Card Carnival. But not all by your lonesome. Your number's the same as someone else's. Ooh. Find them, and you've got yourself a team. Work together, master the games, oh and you'll earn companion cards. <laughs> you can turn those in for beachwear. And once you're impressed, you'll finally be ready to hit the beach. That sounds right. like a voice actress. 
so start searching to let the fun begin. Best of luck finding that special someone. <laughs> Hang loose! <laughs> Hang loose, ladies. Thought us over this shit, but I'm not. Despite what the robed individual's presence suggests, beachwear is required to access the waterfront. Participate in Costa del Amor. Coast of Love, baby. Oh yeah. Costa del Amor events to earn companion cards, then exchange them for more beach appropriate ensembles and hit the sand. Wow. They gotta make us do chores and call it mini games. Thanks, game. Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? You'll need to participate in Costa del Amor. You just gotta beat the event's games with a partner. Who's my partner? Fade cl clouds cards. How many cards does it take? One? Wild Surf and Ocean Chocobo. Hey, that is actually a sick looking outfit. A simple ensemble for those who want to cut loose and ride the biggest waves. So he's shirtless and just has shorts, okay. That's Wild Surf. The Ocean Chocobo is a casual ensemble for those who want to go with the float like a bird in their element. That one's very stylish, I like that one. I'm also partial to the, the color blue. Okay. Come again! So we gotta go find our partner first. All right, let's go over here and see who we run into, I guess. Lucky number seven. Oh. I missed this shop on the way to the hotel. New I'm weapons. Something I can use to Hang loose. How can I help you? Hang loose. Well, no new weapons still, but new armor. Raid five. There's a physical defense, there's a magic defense. Abyssal Bangle and Old Beast bracelet. Okay, I'll take one of each. We'll deal with this shit later, of course. You take care of yourself out there. <sighs> okay. Let's we'll see what's up. You're still here? Think of the comic relief I bring to the oh, team. She still says the same well shit. Much needed, youthful, and I'm afraid to ask how many calories are in one of these. A red burgers. ribbon or whatever? That's a good beach ensemble, yeah. The slippers match the, the headband. Yeah. Pretty hot, Yuffie. Keep it up. Let's see how Tifa and Aerith come out. Who wants to go on a Oh god, of course rampage? it's Barrett. Shoot down enemies on the high seas and capture the heart of your spe- Who wants to go on a pirate's rampage? Shoot down enemies on the high seas and capture the heart of your special someone. Hey, Jesus. got a ticket for this thing called Costa del Amor. Don't know what it is, but it's happening here, so- Coast of love, it's, baby. Uh, special event for uh, meeting new people. But looks like you and me got paired up. Wait, what? <laughs> Why do you care about meeting new people? For the companion cards. What do we have here? Looks like it's right up my alley. Whoa, hold on there. You use firearms for a living, don't you? Sorry, but I can't allow you to play this game. Amateurs only. That's our policy. Oh, it is, is it? Why didn't you speak up soon? I don't see any signs either. This is false Frank? advertising. You know that. Oh, oh shit. You bastard. <laughs> Son of a... Just don't embarrass us. Forgo swashbuckling in favor of sharpshooting as you aim to hit the fiendish targets and earn a high score. Switch aim and fire controls. Aim speed? X for adaptive triggers. There's a lot of buttons here. Play the Brigantine stage of Pirate's Rampage. 
we gotta get 15,000. Ideally. Okay. Alright, man. Blast him in the next week. Between the Queen's Blood tournament and this. Like, I'm. Shit, I can't pause. There we go. I'm down for this, not Queen's Blood. But there will also be people who are not down for either. It is kind of interesting and weird choice that they, they're forcing you into doing a lot of minigames for um for the MSQ. Like a lot of this stuff that should just be optional. They're kind of forcing it on players. I don't mind this, I did mind the Queen's Blood thing. I don't want anything to do with that. Dude, that almost sounded like fucking Pirates of the Caribbean music. <laughs> We got Jack Sparrow coming out. You don't have to reload. Very nice. Beautiful shot. I do wish I could turn down the sensitivity. better. Yeah, that's a little better. Probably gonna take a few tries to get used to the aiming sensitivity, but... Hell yeah. that's what I, like to see. I gotta go for the 200s. Also gotta try to look around to see if there's like hidden targets in different parts of the stage, you know? Beautiful shot. Hell yeah! And that's what I like to see. Got it! The cat for Chungus Chocobo! Oh, your trigger finger is gonna be sore after this, man. This is boss for a first attempt not bad okay we gotta try to be a little bit more aggressive hey that's nothing to sneeze at well done gentlemen with play like that you must have known each other for years the shooting and the shouting was a sight to behold <laughs> you hear that? A sight to behold. It's his job to butter us up. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Just drop the jaded act for a minute <laughs> and take the compliment. I promise I won't tell. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm off to enjoy the beach. Don't leave me hanging too long here. Damn. I was kind of hoping... I was kind of hoping he'd stick around to see what kind of comment we got if we got the high score. Did you tell me I have to reload now? Just to see that? Might have already autosaved though. 829? Yeah, I literally just autosaved. Could have made a save before that. This be pirates Oh well. No more commentary from Barrett then. Alright, let's try to be more aggressive. Gotta look out for those.
I saw something over there. Some kind of gold thing. switch between speeds otherwise you can't really scan the hole yeah leaves after the first attempt so you can't even see what he would say if you got the highest score I'm surprised I forgot to make a manual save before I took a break shit I'm gonna have to retrace a lot of steps and I reload my old save off stream to see what Bear would say for the highest score. Well, skipping scenes and dialogue, it actually goes by a lot quicker, but that's probably not that bad. Card carnival. As long as it's not Queen's Blood again. I doubt it. It's Queen's blood. Well, look who it is. So, you ready to draw this some girl blood? who never became relevant to me because I completely skipped over the Queen's blood tournament, as I should. What do you want? Hey there. What's up? Oh, let me guess. Searching for a more partner? A love yeah. partner? Yeah. <laughs> and now you found her. Just so you know, the rules are different for this event. Instead of the usual one-on-one -on -one format, we have to play in teams, which is why I'm glad you're here. That said, there are two things I can't stand. One's losing. The other uh -huh. is having to carry people who suck. If you're going to be on my well, team, I expect you to pull your own weight. Not going to happen. Try your luck? Then step right on up. Tough shit. You're going to have to you're going to have to carry me cuz I don't give a fuck. It is more Queen's Blood, dude. What the fuck? What is the obsession with this game? Unlike the one-on-one -on -one format of most Queen's Blood matches, Costa de la Mora allows players to compete in pairs. The house provides the cards while you provide the cunning in these puzzles designed to test your Queen's Blood acumen. You're assuming I give a shit about this minigame. I don't. Can I say no and just skip this? Whenever you change your mind, just let me know. Oh, it's still marked. You have to do it. Yeah. That's fucking annoying. I gotta say, that's pretty weak. All we gotta do is win. It's that simple. Well. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous. I'll stick around till we win. Wait, you scared you're gonna lose? No, I just don't care. You better not embarrass me, got it? There's a lot of lines. You're not gonna just turn tail and run, are you? I wish I could, honestly. Yeah, I don't care about Come this. Come on, hurry it up already. You might have all the time in the world, but I don't. <laughs> I gotta say, that's okay. pretty weak. Dude, she has a lot of fucking lines. Welcome to Card Carnival.
Your partner Regina has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. Okay, whatever. Can I just button master this? Don't lose focus. You hear me? together for the next one no can we leave now you please don't tell me we embarrass me got it we actually have to win this oh my god i hope you have a now great you're pissing night. me off game so what's your next move this whatever no not Does that, do that it? one Maxi harder then. Tell me what I gotta do. <sighs> now my victory means nothing. Thanks. You're welcome. Get mad. Finish him off. This is it? Here? Yikes. Just yikes. Now what? <sighs> now my victory means nothing. They're really gonna make Thanks. us do this shit? Oh my god. Come on, hit him where it hurts. Okay, how about here then? Playing it pretty safe, I see. You played that on purpose? Do you even know the rules? Not really. I kind of made it a thing to forget everything as quickly as I could. You gonna pull it together for the next one? No. Do we really have to do this? This is actually, like, pretty annoying now. You scared you're gonna lose? Already did. Don't care. What if I go here? Hey, let me go to that spot first. I really hope we don't actually have to do this. This is really stupid. Oh, you have to... Yeah, it says you have to proceed into your peach wear. Okay, so I think not. You just, you're just required to get one thing, right? You only need one ticket. We got one. So we can just put in our beach wear and then we can skip past this bullshit over here. Here, let's go back here. I, hopefully I'm right about this and then we don't have to do this crap. This Queen's Blood nonsense. Crash minigame, let's see. Here it is. Hang loose! Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? This is the place. I did make a yeah, I did make a save before, so I can check both. Let's try this one. I can't buy both, unfortunately, because I'm not getting the other one. But Flip into your beach where I wanted the changing booth set up at a convenient location around town, such as the entrance to the beach or near Johnny Seaside Inn. Thanks so much for shopping with us today. Enjoy oh, the right beach, alright? If I don't like this one, we'll, I'll reload the save that I made. This one should be good though. The other one, I like how stylish it is, but it does. It, he's also a little covered, a little too covered up for the beach, I think. But this one is also very simple. He reminds me of Roxas. There, it doesn't Roxas actually go to the beach dressed like this at some point in Kingdom Hearts? Him just trunks. Okay, let's load the save and see the other one. I might actually go with the other one.
This is all right, but I don't know. It's too simple. I might like the other one better. Let's see. A <laughs> fool's paradise. Well, if this allows us to skip the Queen's Blood nonsense, I'll, I'll take it. I can only have one. Hang loose! Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? This is the place. Here, this one looks really cool. I might li actually like this one Thanks better. Thanks so much for shopping with us today. Moment of truth. How's it look? Damn. I was hoping the, the bottom half would look better. I like it though. I like the blue shirt vibe. It's actually really nice. The pants are not as good as I would have hoped, but I'll take it. I like this one better. The other one's too simple. Yeah, this is like something I would definitely wear. I mean, I would wear either outfit IRL, but I really like this blue shirt with the collar and everything. The collar's like half popped, you know? I like that. This is really stylish, I like it. Can I keep this outside of Costa del Sol? This would actually be a cool, uh... This would actually be a really cool outfit to keep and use other places, you know? I lost my ride though. Hey, Yuffie, babe. Stay cute. Oh, All right, I have to get off it anyway here. What the fuck am I? Sorry, not sorry. All right, let's do this. Looks like you're more than ready to enjoy the beach. Would you like to head on down there? Yeah, fuck the other minigame. Hell yeah, thank God we could skip it. with them talk about killing the vibe hey what's up they're getting some sun too huh <laughs> yeah. apparently just can't help but feel sorry oh, for them yeah. you know poor uh, bastards ain't done nothing to nobody creeps. but we treat them like monsters all the same yeah. you're freaking everyone out for real take a hike hey you leave them alone <gasps> You son of a bitch! a good guy, man. He's sticking up for the little guys. They were getting bullied, man. Ah, hell yeah, dude. Look at Red. Relaxing, enjoying the sound of Thief and Air taking a shower. I'll only be a sec. Take your time. I knew it was his real voice. Uh, well, the water won't turn off. <laughs> Johnny sure found himself a real fixer-upper. Of course he did. Bruh. <laughs> kind of reminds me of home. Are you almost done? Come on, your house was nice compared to everybody else in your sector. Aerith? Aerith, are you all right? He's fine, man. Tell me, what color would you say this is? None. Clear. Yeah, it's transparent. There's nothing there. The thing is, it used to be white. Oh shit, Sephiroth did something, man. At least, it was back in Midgar. Her holy materia doesn't work anymore. Materia is formed from the life stream itself. Orbs infused with knowledge, memories. You lost your memories? The whispers. Yeah. They took all that from mine? That wasn't These necessarily memories were precious. Yes. Extremely. That's when we defeated the whispers. Weren't you headed to the beach? Some time with Tifa might lift your spirits. Yeah. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh wait, she's gotta get a... <sighs> she's gotta get a beach outfit too, right? Oh god, what kind of minigames is she gonna have to do? He doesn't know Pepe laugh. El no sabe. <laughs> Wandering around alone would be ill-advised. I insist you take Tifa. Okay. You're coming too though, right? I saw you join the party. Tifa? I'm guessing she's in the other one based by, on the marker, but... Wandering alone would be... Ill-advised. This bed looks like a rock. I remember seeing a bed just like that when I went into a cheap-ass hotel one time. Not my choice, by the way. And, uh... I flopped on it thinking it was gonna be soft, and it was... Oh my god. Just thank god I didn't jump on it. That's all I'm gonna say. It was bad news. Tifa? Babe, you here? I'm hey, Tifa! Tifa! You ready to soak up the sun? Cause I sure am. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In a sec. Ready. Now, let's yep. find us some resort wear. And then we can finally hit the beach! Yeah. Let's, let's roll. roll. Girls del amor. Press L2 to swap between S and Tifa at any time during their date. Note that who you control will not affect the story. Okay. Well, let me check this room first. They're leaving behind their, uh, corsage things or whatever the fuck. I don't know what they're called, actually. The hell? Is that just a swap? Hey, you want to lead the way? Hell sure. yeah. Why not? Tifa is bae. Gotta play as her. I rarely get the chance. Come on, puppy. Hey, that shady motherfucker left. He's hella sketchy, man. I don't like it. Oh, more materials. I love Tifa's long ass hair, man. I'm a sucker for it. Hey, how about an Amongst other two? things, but still. I like the way she ties it. Here we go again with this shit. And don't worry, your pet can join too. Your pet? Well, in that case, sign me up. Perfect. Then here's one ticket for the two of you. And one for your doggy. Getting pissed those again. Tickets of yours. You can run wild on the pet playground, ride around on wheelies, or <sighs> oh, there's also the photo contest, and you can't miss the piano recital. So go out there and be sure to have yourself some ball. Hang loose. Hang loose. I'm guessing. Hang loose. Yeah, there it is. Ready to have some fun? She did the hand sign. Yeah, let's go. I'm guessing the memories Aerith lost are maybe of Zach's. Because she said they're precious memories. Hey, he made very precious you? memories with Zack, especially when if you play Crisis for her, like maybe she lost the memories of Zack. That's the big uh maybe that's part of the big plot twist or something. We have new minigames. Actor Caper. And what's this? Royal Coast Concert. Oh hell yeah, we can play music? Hang loose. Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? Hey, shut this up. This is the place. Tifa's and Eris cards. They get their own types of cards. Oh, I'm making a backup save so we can test both of these. I think I already know which one I'm going to go with. But hey, let's not discount this one. This one looks pretty sexy, too. What does it say? Majestic Glamour. A stylus en ensemble for those who want to strut their stuff on the beach. Weapons will not be displayed. The hide weapon option. Okay. 
Shining Spirit, an adventurous ensemble of those who want to frolic in the shimmering sea. Probably gonna go with that one. Eris, what do you get? Floral Delight, breezy, a breezy ensemble for those who want to bask in the tropical sun. Bold ensemble for those who want to live it up in paradise. Hmm. We'll have to preview to decide on this one. I mean, I'll do it for, for Tifa as well, but... Come again! I think I already know which one I'm going to like more for Tifa, though. <laughs> Just by looking at the silhouette. Gonna be a lot of skin showing. Come on, come on, to the best shop in town. Oh, Yuffie's gone. Tour, Costa del Sol If you a ticket, really please proceed to the one. I'll make a save here. There we go. Welcome to the Royal Oh, look who it is! There's a Andrea! Dilla! Today. Or was, at least. Something came up, you see. The pianist decided to skip town. At least he was kind enough to leave behind a letter. Said he had decided to elope. What? Elope? The heart wants what it wants, and who are we to deny it? However, without a pianist, there can be no concert. These fools called us down here because they thought we knew a replacement. Even between the two Is that of why us, you went across the ocean? know everyone in every business. Mm -hmm. Traveled across the ocean for this? These this is the first time they meet. They have the strength of the wolves, and yet are so very delicate. You've played the piano before. That much is obvious. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I did take some lessons when I was a kid, but that was ages ago. I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear you playing the ah! goddamn piano. Now take all the ivories. Hey. Uh, I feel that. <laughs> I like the piano. Let's do it. You can do this. I know you can. Thank you, Andrea. You're our only hope, Tifa. You can do this. Sorry. Right. For believing in me. Don't let my massage go to waste now. She got a mini hand massage. Sit down and play. Yes, ma'am. Damn. Don't let my massage. Very commanding. This concert Whoa. has to succeed. <laughs> We're counting on you. Sorry, buddy. I was just trying this to talk to you. Has to succeed. Okay. We're Tifa's team. This is where they put it outside the demo. Play before the audience? No, I need practice. Fuck that. Let me practice first. I know we played it during the demo. That was like almost a week ago now. Mic still working? Yeah. The metronome. Almost missed that because I was fucking around. <laughs>
I did pretty good for a first try. Yeah, I was only like, what, 500 points away from the star? A max uh, rank or whatever? I think we're ready. No, I'm good. If I practice too much, I'll just end up like... I don't know. Like, I've noticed when I've... Like, I've been learning some new dance routines IRL. And if I over-practice, like... I get too comfortable with it, so then my mind starts to wander more easily. And then I start making more mistakes, ironically. <laughs> but that, that only applies to over-practicing it within the same day, the same session, basically. So... Let's not do that here. While it's still a little challenging and engaging, which it very much is, let's go for the real thing. If I practice too much, my mind will start to wander, and then we're fucked. As good as a practice session, I think, but oh well. Oh, our fingers danced upon the keys. So playful. Same exact Your score, artist. no the shit. Performance, true perfection. Now then, let's give our pianist a warm round of applause. Dylan, oh! oh, son of a bitch. I can't believe I got the same exact score. <laughs> Thank you That's so crazy. much for performing. Here you are. A companion card and a memento. What we give all our concert goers. Now, as for what we owe you for your performance. <laughs> Allow me to speak for the lady. First, there's the on-call rate. Then, there's my finder's fee. Oh and god, she's taking all the money. <laughs> Fuck. I received word from the pianist. <laughs> he and his partner left for a place where nothing can come between the two of them ever again. It oh, that's your romantic. Performance didn't just save the hotel's reputation; it also saved a relationship. That's pretty cool. May the next time we meet I be on the heart. stage of the Honeybee Inn. Until then, my liberators of love. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hell yeah. That was fun. I love the piano mini game. That was really good. All right, so they're not forcing every mini game on you. It's just one out of two every time, right? Kind of. 
Unless, in this case, I think we actually have to do the other one now for Aerith's, um... Or did we get a card for each of them? I didn't check. Shit. I'm paying too much attention to the, uh... The Chad module! <laughs> I was paying too much attention to the fucking, um... That scene. I'll just check at the shop or something. I think we have to do the other one for Aerith, though. I don't think we get both of their tickets in one minigame. Come on, Johnny boy! You can still make it in time! Johnny? Uh-oh. Where's Johnny? Did he just went whizzing by like fucking... Out of here. Let's go see. Let's go see what's up. Oh, there's another minigame option too. Just the Johnny thing. Okay, he's over there. Alright, let me go see the shop though real quick. Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Same options, I'm guessing. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for Damn, we do need here. another one for Aerith. Hmm. Alright, now's a good time day. to check Tifa's outfit. Make another save. Save six. Let's preview these. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? I'll go check on Johnny in a minute. It's here. I have a feeling I'll like that one more. So let's try this one first. See what's up. Have a wonderful day. There's a changing booth right there. Here we go. Pride of Seventh Heaven. I like that. What's this one called? Majestic Lamb. That does look pretty hot. Damn, I'm gonna have a hard time choosing between the two. Fuck. That is fucking gorgeous. It's like, it almost actually matches up pretty good with clouds because they both have like a sort of stylish shirt, but Jesus Christ, she is very, um, <clears throat> well endowed. Though, so, I mean, yeah, Yuffie's hot and all, but Tifa puts her to shame any day, I gotta say. But eh, it's probably just my bias. I mean, I'm team Tifa, so. Um, wow. Very voluptuous. Okay, so let's, let's um, <clears throat> just check the other outfit real quick and then we'll decide. <laughs> Save scumming. Oh, why wouldn't Hang we? Loose. Got any companion cards? That's why I make backup you can saves. Exchange them for outfits here. All right, let's see how this looks. Have a wonderful day. So I will say I'm already tempted to, for the other one just because it it does it does go pretty well with clouds I will say but let's hold it might change my mind here I mean I'm just looking at the icon I'm already I'm like fuck I gotta go with this one <laughs> hold on though it's bulkier than I thought it would be. They made the, the little, whatever those squiggly things are, they made them really thick. Let's see, let's get a better look at it. This is waifu dress-up simulator and I'm all here for it, man. It's just like FF14 all over again. I gotta get that shit out of the way. I noticed that both outfits cover up the scarf. They go just far enough underneath her chest to cover up the scar that Sephiroth made. Which I think is both for like low-key decency purposes as well as story purposes in a way.
I think they mostly did it just for... They didn't want her to, like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe make her feel, like, insecure-ish. For both outfits, I like the hair. I will say that. Hmm. Thought I'd like this bikini more, but I don't know. I'm actually kind of feeling the other one. I think what I don't like is how bulky the little, like, squiggly things are. They're a little much. For me, anyway. I might actually go with the other one. Yeah. This one shows more skin, sure, but that's not everything, you know? Yeah, I didn't take- I didn't check the footwear too much on the other one. I I'm gonna say it, yeah. I- it also the color is not really my thing. Yeah. I think we're gonna go with the other one. The color and the overall style just isn't quite there for me compared to the other one. The cleavage is goddamn awesome from up here, sure. That does help it a lot. From down here, it's not as flattering, but from up here... Go to the shade, it's a little bright. Try different lighting. Mm. That cleavage does help a lot, I gotta say. Compared to the other outfit. Like, the overall style, again, is still not really my thing, but... Cleavage is helping a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Damn, dude. Like fucking watermelons. Like... <laughs> people were saying before Remake came out that she was nerfed. <sighs> Barely, um... They don't know how much, uh, volume clothing can add. Or rather... It's like the other way around, like, they thought... Maybe they thought most of the volume was from the clothing when it's actually not. The cleavage is winning me over. I thought this was gray. It's more like purple now. Hmm. Yeah, it's more like purple straps with... I should have brought the other outfit in here, too. It probably looks a hell of different here, too. We have to do this all over again for Aerith as well. Uh, let me check the other outfit one more time. I'm gonna bring it indoors because it obviously looks very different. Yeah, let me check the other one one, one more time. Lighting... Lighting changes a lot. Hang Let's loose. check the other one. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. There we go. Have a wonderful day. There we go. The comment I made about FF14, waifu dress-up simulator. I mean, it goes it goes the other way around too. I said this uh, before a long time ago on a different stream, but a lot of women who play the game also have uh, male characters that they dress up to their liking. So it's also husbando dress-up simulator. Dude, these things need to get out of the way. I love the style of this one too much, man. I know the other one has a lot of cleavage, a lot of booba, but goddamn, this one is just so much more my style. Okay, yeah, the hair is pretty much the same on both, right? Yeah. The hair doesn't change, so thank god that's that's not a factor. The flowers on her in her hair are the same too, right? Or is that different? That might be different, but the hairstyle is at least the same. Dude, this is too good. I'm sorry, but like the style is too good. I know we don't get as much booba, but there's always a second playthrough. <laughs> like honestly, I I can't. I can't bring myself to pick the other one, man. This this one's too stylish. At least we get center cleavage, you know? That's something. <laughs> it's just like. I know, most other guys right now are like... Son of a bitch! That would suck! I know, I know, but listen. I don't like to sacrifice too much style for horniness, alright? I like them classy. 
You know, like a, a mix between... What was the phrase that she taught me? There's trashy slutty and classy slutty. This was on uh, Urban Dictionary, I think, or something like that. I like a sort of blend, like some a middle ground there between that, all right? Like this is... This is this is stylish. It's like still sexy but stylish. The other one is just straight like horniness, and not much more style to it. This is it's less style, more just pure horny. And this one's this one actually has some class to it. I like it. Yeah, I, I, and the colors. Yeah, the colors of the shorts and everything. Like this vibes with me too much. I'm sorry. I gotta go with this one. <laughs> I gotta go with this one. I gotta go with this one, man. Yeah, especially seeing her running around with it. It's way more. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I like this one way better. Yeah, I can't. I can't do the the more skin. Just I can't sacrifice the style, man. Too good. Yeah. To me, she still looks fucking hot in this. She doesn't need to be like showing off more skin. I'm not that simple. I'm simple, but not that simple. Okay. Yeah. What is this arbitrary rule? Can't you make an exception just this one? <laughs> it's this guy. Oh, for you. You could be my partner. Would that be okay? Uh, I, I don't think I'm allowed. Oh, uh, hi. How can I help you? You. Tifa looks amazing. Uh, I don't this regret this choice uh, at all. My, my superior's arrival has been delayed, so I thought it prudent to uh, survey the area. That's nice. You know, if you're looking for a partner, why don't we team up? <laughs> huh? You mean it? I sure do. Oh, I can't stop you're looking. a lifesaver. <laughs> In that case, I'll go on ahead. Those cactuars can't hide from me. <sighs> okay then. Just take this camera and find the four cactuars hidden around town. Oh God. All right, let the capers commence. This is what we're gonna have to do for Eris. Seek out the four Del Sol cactuars hidden around town and take photos of them to complete the event. Press left to view the map showing the locations and press L1 to take a closer look. Oh, I see. So they're like on... They're pasted onto stuff. Okay. Once you've found the hidden cactuar, pull out your camera with up the snapshot. Hmm. Any hints? Just the map then? Right along with them in this fun contest. How do I... Find all there we go. Nice, nice thumbnail, uh, Tifa. Right 30, 40, 70, and 10%. What does that mean? One of them's down there by Johnny. Find all the hidden around yeah, one's right here. And you'll be capering right along. There's another one here. Run wild. Dude, there's a lot of fucking minigames. Wheelie Ron Boom. Is that like a little race? <laughs> it's gonna be funny if it is. I guess that is. Yes, it's gotta be here. The Surf and Suntan. I mean, the game pretty much gives you that one for free. That's considered the 40% one. I'm trying to get a sense of scale for this little map. a lot think about the name there we go take the picture oh yeah oh isn't it the cutest i just love these little guys is this what they call love at first sight because i adore this cactuar i can't get over how good tifa looks this is such a great outfit for her 
All right, um... So the other one should be over there. Well, again, low-hanging fruit. Let's go for the obvious ones first. Yeah, there's one at the end of this little, like, dock over here. Don't worry, Aeris, we'll get you yours, uh... Your outfit soon. Let's see. Over here. Oh! Oh, I see him, I see him. Is that it? Hey, seriously. Where the hell are these catwalks? Whoa. 25%. How do you zoom in again? Okay. Okay, seriously. Where the hell are these catwalks? I think I got lucky with the, the, the first one. Yeah, let me get closer. I didn't think it'd be that picky. Although I suppose it doesn't have to be perfect, as long as this was in the green range, right? Okay, fuck it. Yeah, it's way too sensitive. That should be enough. Uh, uh, uh. You can't fool these eagle eyes. Oh, so it does have to be pink. Okay. okay I was like, are they all gonna look that different? So they have to be the pink ones only. Okay. Okay, seriously. Where the hell are these cactuars? There it is. I see you, motherfucker. Let's go to the, um... I saw that and was just like, okay, that looks very different, but I guess. No, they all have to be the same pink one. Okay. Oh. I'm jacking this. Ha! GTA, motherfucker, it's mine! Okay. Maybe over there? Wait, what about over here? Got jacked. Alright. Oh, I should have turned that off for the other one, too. Oh, well. To save the screenshot. Forget the zoom button. It's not intuitive for me. Wait. No. No. This is way too- it's too sensitive. Fuck it. Fine. My car successfully hey, photographed. Holy shit, where'd you Each come from? Each guy we find is one more happy memory we make together. Let's go find another! Yeah, we haven't seen this guy since the Sector 7 slums. On the train, specifically. Good to know he's still around, I guess. So we got a 10 and a 30. The 10 for someone should be... Whoa. What the hell was that? <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> Damn. He's agile in sandals. Alright. <laughs> I know, it's just <laughs> I can't. Okay, so it should be straight ahead this way, man. Oh shit. How far though? Oh, game helps you out quite there? a bit. Okay. Wait, what about over here? I gotta get off this thing. Up there. Up, oh, found you. Bulls paradise apparently. Oh, they want us to do it from ten percent. Oh, we're too close. Shit. Back here. Beautiful hair, Tifa. Alright, let's see. The hair graphics are really nice. What the hell? What exactly is it wanting to do? Um. 
like even further away, like here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they run. They wanted it really far away. Whatever. That's good enough. It's way too sensitive. Oh, is someone shy? Hid yourself well, didn't you? <laughs> At this point, I can't imagine life without you. We should spend every day together. Just imagine how splendid it would be. All right. Another mini game. I mean, let's be efficient. Let's see what that is first. That might be another one for Tifa. Welcome to Run Wild, a paradise for animals big and small. <laughs> It'll be for Red. Welcome to Run Wild, a paradise for animals big and small. There it is. Today's first place prize is none other than Costa del Sol. Be shy now. Easy, Nanaki. Some? Oh, he wants them, all right. Then I say go for it. My, what beautiful red fur you have. Ready to run wild? Then step right up. The hell is this? Run wild free for all. Four teams duke it out in this ferocious battle to see who is king of the jungle. Chase the ball around the field, then shoot it into your opponent's goals to win. Hmm. R2 and L3 to dash. Okay. Jump, shoot, and lob. It's just like... It's basically just soccer, but with... Four-legged creatures. We'll just say that. I feel like this one might be annoying. If we can just get second place, though. Good to go. For Aerith's sake, I hope this is easy. Spike it, fucker! Well, that sucked. Bob Sean? <laughs> This is Rocket League, but with dogs. Whose goal am I supposed to... Like, what team am I on? I don't even know where I'm supposed to take this. Shit! This is jank as fuck. Everywhere except where I needed to go. Bastard. Okay, so that's mine. Oh, there's more than one ball now. Kiss my ass. You ain't scoring on me, no! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mangy mutt! Ah. I'm picking on blue. The controls are so... Hell yeah. Fuck those guys. Oh, I thought it would... Oh, thank you. You scored on yourself with that one, but sure. No! Oh! 
Oh, get the fuck away from my goal. <laughs> oh shit, this chocobo means business now. Oh my god, this is so janky. Oh, I wanted to... Like just dash over to it. oh well they went in. No! You Can I jack this chicks? Oh, okay, there's one right here. I <laughs> just want to grab her and just yank her off GTA style. Throw in the CJ line like you got jacked or something. There's a close shot. Okay. Right. Oops. I am so sorry, lady. Ran your ass over. Now we gotta test, we gotta save scum test, uh, Aerith's outfits. Here we go. Hang loose! Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. So just like with Tifa's, I feel like I'm gonna like this one better. Let's try this one first. Pink Mermaid. Actually, with Tifa, I thought I was gonna like the one that showed more skin better. And then I ended up liking this one instead. Have a wonderful day. It could end up being the opposite for Aerith, but we'll see. Alright, Aerith. Get in there. A bold ensemble. This would go well with Tifa's other one. The bikini style one, you know? That's not bad. Got a little bit more style than Tifa's. Not her current one, but like Tifa's Maybe. bikini one, you know? Good to me. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, let's check the lighting. Let's check the lighting. Different lighting. Jesus, it's so fucking bright. I gotta go all the way in here just to get away from excessive sunlight. Nah, not bad. I like that detail there with the little chain. The change in the ribbon, too, on her hair. That's nice. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, girl. Styling it. Alright, let's see what the other outfit looks like. I feel like I'm gonna like the other one better. Load. Yes. I gotta make sure I'm on the right one. Never want to make that mistake of hit and save when you're meant to hit load. There's very, very much no bueno. I'm sure it's happened to us all at some point in some video game or another. The pain of that is just... Oh, fuck, I forgot to actually buy it. God damn it. Also, I didn't realize the time, man. I gotta go to bed. 
We'll go check on Johnny after this and then I'll save and quit for the day. So I gotta go. Hey, what the? Hang loose. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like this one better. Let's see. Have a wonderful day. Oh my god. Somebody get that shit out of here. Here we go. Moment of truth. Damn. That skirt does a lot. Like... If that's what it's called, I don't know. Let's switch over to her. You lead, I'll follow. Sounds good to me. Well, first, let's see in the sunlight. This top is much better. Yeah, and I like how the skirt shows off. Yeah, some leg like that on one side. On the back, it's not as flattering, but it, you know, it fits with her. Let's see here. Like, from the back, it definitely looks like she's a little too covered up. From the front, it looks okay, though. Neither one really hits the mark for me. Neither one of or her two outfits are really, really, like, oh, shit, this is amazing, you know? They're both just kind of okay. But that, I mean, that might just be because I'm just, you know... I'm not Team Aerith, so I don't have that bias, you know? Yeah, we'll go with this one. Just like, just like with Tifa's two choices, and even with Clouds, honestly. This is like the slightly classier choice, which I kind of prefer. Yeah. I kind of prefer the classier look rather than trashy. Which, again, for hers, even the other one isn't really, like, overly trashy, per se, for lack of a better word. Um, but yeah, I think I like this one better. Let's see, what do they look like standing... Well, he was just gonna walk away. <laughs> I was like, what do they look like standing side by side? Yeah, fuck it, I'll go with this one. Where to next, Tifa? Follow me and you'll see. Yeah, they both look hot, but classy. I can't get over Tifa's outfit. It's amazing, honestly. It's in the details. I like the belt, but I also like the, um... I wish I could use my mouse to point it out. Um, but I can't. I guess how... Yeah, I like how the, the underwear shows on the sides there. The strings. And the belt, and then on, for the top, I love how it's how it's tied up. Like it's just the whole outfit is just really good to me. The shorts and everything. The sandals are the only part where I'm like, you know, neutral, but I don't dislike them either. Like it's fine. It goes with the outfit. It's perfect. Yeah, I love this fucking outfit for her. the colors, everything. It's totally my jam. A better color scooter too. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's get the last cactor and see what Johnny's up to, and then I'll be out for the day. Um. Where's the notes? Sorry about that. That one was on purpose. Okay, so it's it's close, but not right on the pier. So it's probably like right there. I miss Chadley, he's over here. What does he say to Tifa? He usually talks to Cloud. Hey Chadley. Shake it, shake it. Lucy Goosey. Welcome to Costa del Sol. I didn't think myself a dancer, but I'm starting to see the appeal. Perhaps you might like to cut a rug with me sometime? What the fuck does cut a rug mean? I thought he'd have special dialogue for talking to him as someone that wasn't Cloud, but I guess not. 
Did I miss the opportunity to talk to, to like... Did I not see him when we first got here? He might have had like a special thing to say to introduce Costa del Sol in a way. If I found them as caught earlier. And I just totally walked past them, I think. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Then again, maybe not. It doesn't look like they really focus too much on giving him special lines too often. Since he's just like a side character. Found your perfect Is he had another minigame? Oh yeah, for the wheelies. Life -changing experience. We'll check it out tomorrow, man. I gotta go. I do have to get to bed. My so let's just go see what the hell Johnny's doing over here. And get the last Cactuar, which I'm guessing is around here somewhere. Look out for that camera <laughs> this icon. Is the kind of fun I've been missing. Okay, I hear the Shinra middle manager, so we're close. Hmm. This whole thing makes me want to go to a Tiki lounge bar. It's been a while. Nothing better than not working. You sound like you'd rather be working though. The way you were all stressing out earlier. <laughs> this is the kind of fun I've been missing. Maybe I have to get off the. There's a camera icon up here. I didn't think about that. No, because it appeared Why? earlier with the other Why? one. But no, I don't think that's it. What's up, dude? I did not mean to do that. Um. How do you look at this again? Yeah, L1. Examine. 30%. And it's somewhere here. I see the camera icon. We're close. Where the hell are you? Wait, is that person hinting at? Getting warmer. Warmer. I knew this one was gonna be a pain in the ass to find. Not working. Where is he? little ship boy man what's the percentage on it 30 not as far away as the other one but still kind of far so I just can't find it, man. <laughs> this is the kind of fun I've been missing. Why do I hear his voice but I don't see him? <laughs> Nothing better than not working. Hey, there he is. There's a fake one. What about the other fire hydrant? There you are, you little shit boy. Thank God I saw the other one or I never would have thought to look at the fire hydrant. Let me get into a better spot. I like my photos to look good, alright? Aerith! No! Get out of the fucking way! Oh my god, it's so hard to do micro movements. Like, I can't just walk. Oh, that's too hard. I wish the character could just inch forward instead of straight up dashing like that. Oh my god, it's too sensitive there! Uh, zoom in. Oh! 
Got him. My petite prickly pal. <laughs> I hate to think that these might be our last moments together. All those hours I wasted working that I could have been spending with you. What the and yet, fuck? I still hold fast to the Shinra Creed. Loath though I am to part, I cannot shirk my duties forever. Oh, what am I to do? Are you alright, dude? Did I lose my, um... Where's my wheelie? I think I lost the wheelie. I have no idea where I left it. There it is, I think. Might be someone else's bone taking it. I don't know. See ya, suckers. Alright, let's go turn this in. Costa de la Mora is underway. Find the love of your life today. <laughs> you can just crash into shit and send it flying, dude. <laughs> can close the book on the Cactuar Capers. <laughs> I suppose I ought to thank you for helping bring some Amor back into my life. Say, if you don't mind parting with them, I'd love to send those Cactuar photos to my wife and daughter. Just a small way of letting them know they're always in my thoughts. Aw, that's Here actually really cute. <laughs> I really needed this. Can't lift my family's spirits if I can't lift my own. <sighs> Right on, buddy. Yes, sir. Is oh, uh, forgive me. I'm on my way. There he goes. <laughs> Take it Don't easy, work buddy. Too hard. Yeah, that. Exactly. Don't work too hard. Let's go. Out the way. That's the wrong way. All right, let's go check on Johnny real quick and see what's up. Oh, full! I wonder what kind of guy this big boy is. Maybe he's a This is when Rufus shows up. He wears white. What does that have to do with Johnny, though? No, 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 me, um... Hey, what happened to... Where's Johnny? Oh, were we supposed to, like, talk to him before we... Before we turned in that minigame for Aerith or something? Oh, I think I fucked up. Well, this is why we make backup saves. Maybe we were supposed to chase after Johnny immediately. God damn it. We just have to redo that stupid dog minigame too. <laughs> I wonder what kind of guy this big wig is. I mean, yeah, I didn't notice when the Johnny thing disappeared. Shit, that sucks. Ugh, well now we gotta redo some shit tomorrow. God damn it. What if I just load a file where he was still there? Okay, let's check this one. At least I know where the cactors are now too, though. That, that'll save some time. still there here this is before we got Aerith's outfit right hang loose got any companion cards you can exchange them for outfits here is this what triggered Johnny disappearing day. I hope not
Go to the beach once you're ready. Is he gone? Oh, yeah! Damn, we, it has to be before they both change. Well, that's really stupid. Okay. Damn, so we gotta... So Aerith has to be slumming it in her regular outfit, or Tifa. They can't both be changed already, or else it, like, thinks you're trying to move forward with the MSQ, and it just deletes Johnny off the fucking map. Oh, boy. This game has some quirky flaws to iron out, man, I'll tell you that. Uh, let's see what this was. Nothing better than not working. What's this? I wonder what kind of guy this big thing is. Tifa, Aerith, what are the two of you doing here? That's all. Yeah, she's on. Um, what's with the guy? Luggage for a Shinra executive. Gotta make sure it gets to his hotel safe and sound. Seriously? You're working for Shinra now? After all that talk you about how much you hate them? Mayor's Son of a bitch. That was a After everything he's done for me, I gotta. Don't look at me like that! I'm not some dumb sellout! You suck! Frick? We should go. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that was kind of sad. That wasn't even funny. Well, that shady guy did tell us that dude's probably in debt from that stupid shack he put us in, right? Well, there's the proof. He's sold out, and he's working for Shinra now. That's it? That's all we missed? All right. Okay, well then we'll just stop here. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching, as always. Appreciate the support. Um, I made plenty of saves, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the top screen. Um, yeah, thank you all very much for the support, um, and for putting up with my shenanigans, picking up bikinis for the ladies. It's important, you gotta look good, you know? Stylish. Um, I think they're both gonna look good in their outfits. I like clouds too. Barrett already has his own. And red, well, he's just red. But uh, yeah, thank y'all very much for watching. As always, please take care of yourselves. Look after each other. Stay safe out there. Don't die. And until next time, I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and good night. And I will see you all then. Peace. Dylan! You son of a bitch.